Hi, I'm John Apollillo, and in 1975, I was transferred to this school in Bushwick 291. I was educating kids, but I feel I got an education as well. I didn't realize that there could be a place in New York City where you couldn't buy anything. There wasn't a bodega, there was nothing, no commercial interest at all. There were so few habitable buildings. They were all burnt out shells. And yet, the schools were filled to capacity. Every building was just full of kids and full of parents and their friends and family. And when one building would burn out, they would move in with a cousin or sister or brother. Kids would tell me that at night, they would sleep mattress to mattress. And it wasn't unusual for a kid to say he lived with 24 or 25 people. We would eat lunch upstairs and look out and the kids would use this devastation as their playground. And we'd see them leaping from one abandoned building to the next. And you could look right in and see kitchen cabinets or a bathtub looking like it's ready to sail down three stories. And we would yell at the kids, get off of that building, what's wrong with you? You're going to kill yourself. Mm -hmm. And I remember the kids coming up to me with no instruments at all and just doing the <laughs> and the clapping. And I'd say, that's not music. There's no instruments. But they were right and I was wrong.